This is Paula G. Voice, a.k.a. Lady Wisdom After Midnight. Some thoughts. We must speak life into each other, not just in marriages or committed relationships, but in all relationships. As young children, some grow up with negative words being spoken over them and throughout their childhood. As they become adults, they in turn speak negatively to those around them and they may not even realize it. A harsh word is said that can shatter a relationship for good. So how do we change this? How do we maneuver the power of the tongue into positive arenas? I offer these suggestions. Reset and rephrase. Firstly, sometimes there is wisdom in silence. I'm just saying. Everything does not warrant a comment. Sometimes you may just need to let it go and let it go for real. It's not that serious. Sometimes. That's the reset part. As for the rephrase, It's not what you say, but how you say it. Sometimes we don't make progress in our relationships because of how we speak to a friend or loved one. Sometimes it's our tone of voice, both of which can be very damaging. Reflection. Where have we come from? Where are we now? Where are we going or desire to go? There's a saying that says something to the effect, if we do not know where we have come from, it is difficult to know where we are going. We have to assess our past and what we have come through. We have to sit in that for a minute to see how it may affect our future, be it positive or negative. What can we change for the better? What do we have to coexist with and how can we do so in a manner that is constructive? Forgiveness. This is more for the individual than it is for the other person. Our relationships are more important now than ever before. Friendships, family, lovers, BFFs, spouses, these relationships matter to us holistically. Let's invest the time to properly nurture them. Let's invest the time to give them the attention that they need. We have seen throughout a pandemic season that life is precious. Some of us have experienced the loss of loved ones in a variety of levels. Some of us wish we could have one more day with that person, one more day to love on them, one more day to talk to them. Talk, not text them, but talk. One more day to resolve differences or misunderstandings. Pick up the phone, get on a video chat, make it a priority to enrich your relationships with those that mean the most to you. Life is not promised. Would you want the last words communicated to be harsh words via text? Some now have to live with that experience. It's just a thought. I'm Paula G. Voice. I'm a sagacious, independent lifestyle influencer. I'm embracing my own journey and sharing experiences along the way. I'm challenging dreamers to do the same by breathing life into their deferred dreams and living out the reality. It's never too late to embrace your journey and live your dreams. Visit ApologyVoice.com for the full journey.